Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord sent me to warn you about this guy coming with a black box. Hallelujah. The Lord sent me to warn you about this guy that is about to step into your life with a black box in the name of Jesus. I saw someone holding a black box, a black box, and this person is coming into your life and God is sounding this word to you as a warning. Hallelujah. Yes, not everything that looks like gold, you conclude that is gold. There are stones that look at gold. The moment you abandon what you were chasing to follow that stone, you will realize and find out one day that you are making a big mistake. There is somebody that is about to make a walk, like entrance into your life. And the Lord wants you to be very careful. The Lord wants you to be set, to, to be ready. The Lord wants you to be vigilant. This prophetic word calls for your attention. This particular prophetic word calls for your attention. The Lord wants you to prepare, get ready. Be very careful in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready, prepare. This man is coming with a black box. One thing you, you are going to identify, you see him holding a black box, something black anytime. He's used to, hallelujah, this is just the first time in the name of Jesus. The Lord is sounding this word like a warning. You need to be very careful. One of the things that you will see again in the life of this man, he will be a man that is very rough. Hallelujah, very, very rough. I don't know why, but I know there are some people that love only rough people. But to us, we need to know that as God's children, we are different people. We are different people. The Bible says, save the Lord while it's day, so that by night you will not regret. Save the Lord during your youth. Praise Master Jesus. A lot of people during their youth now, like my own, it's very difficult for you to see young boys and young girls at my age committed to the Lord. Why? Because a lot of them, 90% are in the war. They just want to chop life. Some of them are saying, let me play life face at this particular age, then before I will repent. No. Praise Master Jesus. The foundation of everything is always from the beginning. I am seeing a man that is about to walk into the life of a lady. And the Lord is sounding a warning to this lady to be very careful. Because I'm seeing this man taking you to somewhere that they will never see you again. This man taking you to a place where they will never see you again. Hallelujah. I'm just led by the Spirit of God to pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. Sorry for just pushing the prophetic word forward without introducing myself. If this is your first time, my name is Basil. By the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm here or, or any day to bring us God's word. If you have not yet been part of this family, just tap the like button, the subscription button, and at the end, you're sharing. By so doing, you spread this prophetic word to a greater number of people outside. God bless you in the name of Jesus. God loves you so much. That is why God is exposing this man. Hallelujah. The foundation of every marriage or relationship is from the beginning. If a man does not change when he is dating you, do not say, I'll marry him, he, he, he will change. Do not say, I'll marry him, he will change. Do not say, I will change him. No man or woman has the power or capacity to change a human being. Only God. We can only pray for their minds. We can only pray and God is the one to change him. God said, be careful. This man is saying, this man He's not a bad person. He's not a demon. But his mission in your life is not clear. That is why I'm saying, no, you need to stop. Hallelujah. The moment this man walks into your life, one of the signs you will notice, you start, you lose your peace. Hallelujah. You, you lose your peace. You start losing things. The moment you notice that, you, that, you, that, that your peace of mind is no longer there, that you're losing things. Hallelujah. When, when a wrong... Uh, uh, Oh my God, when a wrong passenger or a wrong partner walks into your life, one of the things you notice, one of the signs you start losing things. The Bible says in the book of Jonah, Jonah entered the boat, he paid his fare. Not everybody that comes into your life is your, is your partner. No, no, no. There are people that are wrong passengers. The boat were about, were about, was about to sink. Jonah was there sleeping. Not the boat outside, it was not the water outside it was the water inside the water inside was jonah so the problem is not outside the problem is inside so there are people that the moment they are in your life you start losing things forget about your village people forget about your uncle or, or your mother have you ever checked about the man you were doing extremely well the moment the man walked into your life you started losing things 
because of the way he's losing you, because of the way he's treating you. Everything was going on well with your spiritual life. The moment this man came, even to pray now is a problem. At this particular point of time, just two years, three years, four years, five years, then all the things happen. Imagine yourself in, in 10 years. That means you'll be a, a living dead corpse. Hallelujah. Living a life without Jesus is like a journey without destination. Life makes no sense without Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Hallelujah. Please do not forget. Uh, you see this man holding a red bag, and these are the signs. The moment this man walks into your life, you lose your peace. The moment you, you lose your peace, you will not be comfortable. Anytime you sit beside this man, you are, you are afraid because of his lifestyle. You, you, you are not feeling secure and start losing things in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody watching and connecting. The plan of the enemy over your life will not come to pass. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. If you were blessed, I want you to drop a prophetic comment. Hallelujah. I cast away every evil Jonah. I cast away every evil Jonah. Drop a prophetic comment at the comment section. Cast every Jonah, every wrong passenger. Type it at the comment section. I cast away every wrong passenger. I cast away every wrong relationship. I cast away every wrong connection. I cast away any wrong friend whatsoever. Is it the wrong husband? Cast it away. Tell God, I cast it into the sea. Jonah said, cast me. I am the one. The problem is not outside. It's inside. I pray in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not rejoice. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.